In this video, I have a normal curve. That's the blue line that you can see here. And the mean is set to zero, and the standard deviation is set to one. M is a mean, S is a standard deviation. The mean happens under the peak. That's the blue dotted line at the center that can be seen in, in this particular location. The orange horizontal line is the standard deviation, the length of it, the horizontal length. So this is a, it has a standard deviation equal to 1. This is what we call the standard normal curve. And the area and probability between 0 and 1 is 34%. If I put in the cumulative probability here, going from 0 to 1, you'll see that that stays 34%. Right there it says 34. That's 34 percent. If I change that standard deviation to drop it to, say, 0.1, you'll notice, let me do that again, you'll notice the curve goes up and gets narrower. My standard deviation is now 0.5, the distance from the middle to the inflection point. The orange horizontal line is still the standard deviation. Notice the mean doesn't change that. The mean now is 1. Now the mean is 2.5. Here's the mean is 1.5. Here the mean is 0.5. I can, uh, sorry, the mean is 0, 1, 2. I can change the mean, and the whole thing moves over, and the area therefore stays the same between the two. It's also the case that if I flatten this out, say I go up to a standard deviation of 2.5, it's gotten very flat, but this area is still going to be 34%. In this case, it's running from the mean of 1 out to 3.5, because that's where I moved. I've got the mean sitting currently at 1, a standard deviation of 2.5. That area is still 34%. So... The distance from the mean here in the middle out to the standard deviation here encompasses an area under the curve that is always 34%. Regardless of w what you put in for the standard deviation or mean, the distance from the middle to where the curve changes direction, that's the piece that remains the same. So if I drop this back down to zero, the area, now I have to adjust it, this one here, it's only going out to about 1.5, that's still 34% of the area, and this is the inflection point. So here the standard deviation is 0.5, the mean is 1. I could take the mean out to the mean of 5, I'll have to move my graph over, there it is, and now it goes from 5 to 5.5. So now let's see what that area is, 5 to 5.5, 34%. That's why we can use the picture to figure these things out as long as we're working in standard deviations. Here the standard deviation is 0.5. If I change that standard deviation to a different value, if I bring it up, then this area out to that standard deviation, now sitting out at 6, will remain 34%. The curve readjusts. So I can use the same picture that I always use. The area will always come back to that 34%. So it, it's, uh, you have to picture this thing as a dynamic, animatable thing. I hope this helps in some small way.